Hi, I'm Jay with Weedstone, and we're here in front of the Cox Orlando system. And I want to talk about a little bit about switch redundancy. Um, here we've got some core switches distributed for 19 studios. And what we've done is we've taken half the on-air rooms and half the production rooms and placed them each on one switch um, in case of a failure of a core switch. We've also taken up our transmission blades that are connected to those air rooms and we've shared those amongst the switches as well. So what I want to demo for you today um, is a Cisco switch failure. And the best way I can do that is to reach around the back here and unplug a cable. And then I'm going to show you what went down. And as Brad's panning to see what's not working, which was on the bottom switch, I'm going to simply move these cables from this up here because we've already configured some extra ports here to be trunks. I've also got some, tra I know which are my transmission blades, um, so which is going to come back when I bring my other air studios up. So first we're going to do is right around here and unplug this guy. Okay, you'll see now I have some of the stuff is still working. We've lost an air studio over here. Um, we've lost some production rooms. So while you're taking a look at that, I'm frantically going to come over here and start replacing some Cat 5 cables to get our system back up on air. Um, if you look right here, I know this was the transmission path for half of the system. So by simply plugging these in, you're gonna see some audio return. Now we're gonna take all the trunk cables and move these over to the pre-configured ports that we set up ahead of time for such a failure. And as fast as we can plug these in and move these to the switches, you're going to see network connections come back and we're going to have a full operating system off of one switch. Now there's going to be some sources and destinations, ancillary stuff that was on the network um, that we don't have access to, but the main thing was getting everything back up and running and as Brad will pan around, you're going to see that we've got audio restored on every single surface here in the system with metering, and Q, and all of our on-air rooms here are back up, and of course the song ended. But at the end of the day, by, head, by configuring your Cisco sys switches so you can load share and put half the, the network on one switch and half the network on the other switch, this will allow you at least to get around a switch failure. Thanks for watching.